That's what I want. Alright, I started it. Wait, what did you start, sorry? I uh, said so I started the stream. Oh, okay, okay. I'll put myself into push to talk. Medical items in this game sell for so much money, and it's great because I have a bunch of clothing on, like, and items that give me plus medical item find. So I basically find medical items like all the time. Nice. And you are going to love crows when you meet them. Am I gonna love crows? Oh, you are gonna love crows. Oh joy. Yeah, my best friend. You know dogs in Resident Evil? Yes. Crows are the dogs of this game. They're not actually not that bad. They're not that bad to be honest, but they're still annoying. Alright, I'm gonna come to the Dalbo police station by the way. Oh, I'll just go wherever you're at. Okay. Oh my god, this crow won't leave me alone. Are you still using the CZ-83? I think you are, right? Or, or, what's your pistol? Is it the Ivanov or the CC-783? Uh, the CZ-83. I might have a better one for you. It's like a legendary one. Oh, nice. I mean, I don't need the gun anymore, so... Ah, I see your proxy. Hello. Hello. Alright, shall we go in here real quick, uh... Donut King? Have you been in here? I have been in here before. Did you, uh... Is there a locked door in here? Did you unlock this, uh, Iron Key door? Yeah, do you wanna, let's loot, alright, it's there, it's there, there. cause we, we, we'll we find the same, like if there's like a stuff, uh, a key or something, we'll find it on the same corpse as this one. There might be a boss through that door, let's see, let's see. Okay, cause I, I've been through here before, but I don't know, I also died in here, so it probably resets everything. Yeah, there's a boss in here. And there's these annoying little worm shits. I just usually kick them, it's so, like, they're so annoying to hit usually. Yeah. I got a rad beanie hat. Yeah! Well, that's actually got. Uh, no, wait. Oh, there's a door over here. Ooh, 
I got the hat too. What is through here, I wonder? No idea. Ah! Uh, There's another one on the floor, I think. Yeah. Look at him. Trying to be a little stealthy guy. And be careful, by the way, because zombies can always come through the door and scare the hell out of you. Oh, I know. I was in the uh, inside of a room one time, and just like three zombies showed up. All right, so here, um, yeah, one second. Offer items. I'll give you. Uh, oh, oh shit! Can you take care of that? Yeah, you can move now. I've got the menu up. Take care of that, please. Help. <laughs> Oh no, wait, 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 I've got something to even, because I just found a better version of the one I've got, okay, so. Oh no, I don't want to equip that, there we go. Oh no, wait, I don't have a better version of that, never mind, this is a baseball bat, what the hell? Why can't I unequip, oh, they've changed it now, I think, oh. Oh, this is really weird. I want to unequip this goddamn wrench. I could have swore I had a wrench too. Guess not. Alright, so if you hit tab and you go to private trades, you should see an incoming offer yep. of a rare beanie hat, and it's got that plus 2%. Fine, it's not really that great, but I mean, it's something the 2% rare fine chance and attack speed. Now, orange is not actually the highest rarity, by the way, in this game. It's purple, it's the highest rarity. It's weird, that isn't it? It's purple. Eh, I mean, that kind of makes sense. And um, do, do you actually have a wrench? Because a wrench is better than the weapon you have. I don't have a wrench, I thought I did. Alright, then I can, I can give you a wrench. There's a wrench too. Hang on. Ah, wrench. wrench. Do you actually need any food? Because I'm kind of overloaded a little at the moment on items. I actually need to get rid of some. Uh, I might. Let's see, I got tin sausage, diet soda. Two things of milk, whiskey, two wines. Is that a zombie? Yeah, I got her. I think did she just fake death? No. The baseball bot's great, I really like this weapon. I have a lot of stuff to drink, but I have like one thing of food. So do you, yeah, okay, what's your actual energy at, though? Uh, hang on. My energy is at a thousand. Oh god, you're in dire need of food at the moment. <laughs> Alright, here, Ooh. I got some tin dog food for you. Nice, I also have a bacterial infection. Oh, oh, nice, nice. I have baked beans for you and some tin sausages for you. So, it, again, if you hit tab and go to incoming offers, you can just, uh, 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 sorry, tab private trades incoming offers, you can just accept all of that. Yeah. Because I don't know if you accept it, because it still says it's all up on my screen, it's weird. Um, no, I got them all, except for the hat, because I already have one of those. Does it have the, does it have better stats, though? Uh, two, two. I'm pretty sure we got the same one. Wait, did, did it literally have identical stats too? Oh, no. Uh, mine has uh, plus 1% to finding a book, plus 6 to hydration restoration, and plus 4 to aim speed. I mean, which one would you prefer? Uh, what was 
You can trade if you want. It's up to you. Attack speed. Eh, yeah, I'll trade him. Hang on a second. I really like this baseball bat. It's got a really nice range on it. I like how your character looks, Proxy. Thank you. I tried to make mine kind of look like Jill as close as possible. I don't know what I was trying to do with mine. How do I... It's not... It's not letting me put it over there. And what's the issue? I'm trying to uh, put the hat that I had into the trade thing and it's not letting me. Um, are you just clicking out going off us? Yeah. yeah. That's not how you make one. So you can either hit character search and search my name or you can hit my view, my, look at me and hit view character. And then hit offer items. Ah, that makes more sense. Yeah, so when you press view character, by the way, that's the same menu that comes up if you do a character search as well. So you don't actually have to be next to each other to trade. But you do have to be in the same area to accept the trade. Makes sense. All right, awesome, awesome. So we killed the boss, which should have given you a lot of EXP too. Probably did. She's pretending to be dead, huh? Oh, wait, no, is she not? Wow, she looked like she was. I think she's down. Tricky girl. So, you can take the lead here, because you've, uh... You've kind of, like, looted most of this area, so I don't know which buildings you've been in, so you can, uh... You can take the lead for us in buildings. But, did you actually... Did you actually... I, I've got an idea, then. Did you, uh... Oh, shit. That one on the floor is alive too. That's a big one. There's another one. Oh, here she is. All right, I killed the wolf. I got a superior shot, what does it even have on it? Oh, that's terrible stats I got. Um, so what we could do is we could just go to another area and start looting it from scratch, or we could... Did you do any quests yet? Uh, not yet. Alright, we can, um... We can go to the Dalbo Police Department and... accept a bunch of quests there. I mean, these are just good for getting your money and XP. Do I have sprint? I do have sprint. I have no idea how to sprint. Uh, left shift. If you do have it. Uh, I do. I don't know if I set that up on my controller or not. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that with you. Yeah, using a PS4 or whatever controller.
swore I had it set up on here. Oh well. Alright, so, um, we just go and talk to all these random people here, like this person. Anyone that just isn't a police officer, essentially, we talk to. I've gone through the door on the left after talking to that other guy, by the way. Yeah, I saw you. Well, yeah, if you talk to cops, they just say, like, really depressing quotes. It's kind of saddening. Oh, wait, this guy didn't. He just said hi, finally. Oh, no, now he's being depressed again. Like, seriously, they say some really depressing stuff. I think I've been all through the police station. But you just, you just moved the NPC by walking into him. What the hell? Like you move? How did you? How did you do that? How the fuck did you do that? Oh, you're doing it too. <laughs> That's you, you great. Have, you have him pressed up against the wall. I love it. I love it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into this room now and just accept whatever quest or anything. The thing is, dude, you can go through so many doors after doors and just find so many NPCs, but then it becomes really annoying. I find like find where to accept like there can be doors like back over here oh wow there's a lootable desk here yeah, i think i've talked to everyone in this building all right so you should have um all those quests well uh is there any way to check uh quests yeah so if you hit tab you can go to your mission yeah 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 i have a lot well i have a few God damn! I just have too many items at the moment. I'm trying to just get rid of some real quick. Do I have any health items? Ah, I should probably use that. All right, I am. Uh, I'm ready. So you've got fuel for your car, right? If you're fueled it and all. Yeah, I've got. Got extra on me too. Awesome, awesome. That zombie just fall back over. Right, I'm just at the cars. I'm gonna put these fuels into my car. Okay, so where are we going to? Alright, so looking at these quests, um, it looks like we want to travel to Arkbrook right now, that's to the right of Dalbo. No, you can still come here. It is not letting me. What's it saying? It's Do you have enough fuel? It says recommended level 5. Yeah, you should still be able to head that though. Look if you just click it. Oh, wait, fuel required 0.82 yeah. gallons? 
put, when you've got to put your fuel in your car and then click the fuel and refuel it. Like put it in your car's inventory and then hit the fuel in, in the inventory and hit refuel. It's just in case, I guess, you'll want to use it as storage, I guess. That makes sense. Okay. You can actually make a little decent book, by the way, selling fuel. Now, the annoying thing is, in this zone, every time we kill an enemy, there is a chance a worm can spawn from its body. So you got to be constantly on edge about that. But... You know, you just kick the worm, so easy mode. Um, okay, so let's let me just look at a mission log again. Uh, Alright, so the, the first task is literally easy. We've literally just got to kill all the infected on the street. Okay. So, that's just basically go around and exterminate everything you see. I thought that one came out of that one. Yo, she's still alive. I think she's dead. You gotta go like down these back passageways and stuff as well. It's weird sometimes zombies spawn here. And also make sure obviously you run past all the corpses because uh, just like Resident Evil they love to play dead. That's one feel nice. Soda. I can hail one here. Oh, here she is. Oh, there's two. Oh, shit, there's three. Oh, shit, there's four and five. The keys getting higher. Ah, uh, you got this, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just continuing down the alleyway. To the other side. Alright, mission log, did we complete it? So the thing is, when you've completed your quest, it will turn green, so you can tell if you've killed them all or not. So we've still got more to hunt. Yeah, did we go down this side? No, we didn't check this yet, which is why I suspect that possibly at somewhere... Or oh, maybe it's one that we didn't see, you know, that was on the floor and we didn't aggro it. Yeah. Actually, the next zombie we see, I should fire a bullet because it, like, genuinely aggroes most of the map to you. Okay, I heard something. Oh my god, I just walked into this. I hope that alerted something. Yeah, so far my bullet should wake up most of the zombies as well that are asleep. But I think the last zombie is the one you've got, I think. Let's check. Yes. Alright, awesome. So, let's see what's the next one we should pursue. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, the Princess Hotel, one, one second. Ooh, iced coffee. Alright, so... I've got a mission guide up for these ones, because these can be really annoying. Um, so, come over here, uh, behind you, to the Princess Hotel. 
Because these, you've got to basically loot a specific corpse. And these buildings can take hours to get through. But I, uh, I know where the item is. Oh god, this one's a sprinter. God, there's like a million of them in this room. There's one down here on the floor behind you. And there's another one on the floor here. Alright, so we've got to go up three floors apparently, and then... Oh boy. I'm just gonna Resident Evil style kite around. I'm about to get cornered. Don't attack me. So if you just follow the blue symbol, you'll be able to locate where it's at. Assuming you went upstairs? Yeah, yeah. It should be on the stairs. Wait, did they remove the blue symbol? Going up again. I see you. Yeah, go in this door here. It's this one. I want to see, did they... Did, uh, the first door to the right here. Did they remove the blue symbols? What? Oh no, 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 they appear. I don't know, maybe something was just glitching. Yeah, it's like not showing up half the time. Iodine tablets. Ooh, who's this person? There's nothing left. They are who we uh, talked to to complete the quest. Alright, so... Let's see... Da, 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 da. The last quest we have is in that other building. We could probably have to loot this hallway, actually. Let's see. Um, two bears in a row. I found antiseptic spray. Oh, this is a zombie behind you. Yeah. And then she fell over. What did, the hell? Did you see that? She got up and fell over. At least on my screen. More ammo. Finding a lot of ammo finally. Glad to hear that. What types? Uh, you know, handgun, shotgun. 20 gauge is really, really worth a lot, by the way. And 12 gauges especially. Um, handgun ammo doesn't sell for too much, but that's why I like it, because I actually just buy a lot of handgun ammo. Yeah. I found another bear. There's a third bear in a row. Is this game trying to turn me into an alcoholic, just like real life? More than you already are. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, so all we gotta do in here is just kill everything.
Oh! She, I didn't realize she was behind me. That scared me. I got her. Oh, I just got some chocolate spread. That's what so much. It gives you way s so I many calories. I got rifle rounds. My inventory's full. Lame. Okay, what do I not need? I will protect you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. I picked up rifle ammo. Right, so I want to see where this, because there's a key. We need a key. I want to kill another boss. So the key wasn't in here. I found the key, it's uh it's in this room. Alright, hang on. Which room are you okay the big doors? Yeah, it's in this cabinet. You almost got hit that, Brox. <laughs> like going through my inventory right now. I like that you can never feel safe though because they can just pop through doors. Oh yeah. I'm gonna equip this. She's just trying to puke at me. Oh. I like how it actually stays on the ground too. Yeah, I like that. And also all like the bones and stuff splatter out as you hit them and such. It has the small key. And has our boss. The uh, crispy looking dude. Oh shit, yeah. And he can sprint. Oh no, you died? Yeah. You Dude, you should have told me if you were low health. I, oh fuck, I would have given you some healing items. Well, I didn't think I was going to get hit. Seriously, did it just kick me out?
all the way back at the police station. Yeah, I'll come back. Uh, oh, wait, you should probably come to Ark, but... Oh, wait, wait, no, no, wait. Fuck, um... Yeah, because you need to come here, don't you, and clear the building and infected. Yeah. Alright, I shall be back there shortly. Oh, I just got a hat that has XP gained on it. Nice. Why does my car have to be so far away? Okay, I am back here. Alright, if uh, you go back into this room, we should find a bunch of zombies for you to whack on and kill again. Ow. I don't know if I if I get the kills that it counts to, so I'm just kind of like. Oh gosh. Well, I'll kill that puka. Almost dead. You got ammo? Yeah, I'm just trying to get behind them. You fake death, I think. Oh, behind you, behind you! Oh shit, that sprinted right up to you too. Alright, is your quest complete in here? All right, let's go. Uh, let's go back. Cool. I need to heal. <laughs> yeah. Once we uh, get to Dalvo, I'll give you some items to heal you up. And you'll get a lot of XP and money from this anyway. This should level you up, I think so, anyway. It might level me up, or it might not, because that death, like, took away half of my experience. Yeah, it sucks, I know. Alright, just head back to Dalvo real quick.
to go through and uh, readjust my controls. Yeah. I'm just, uh, wait, where, where, where are you at, by the way? Did you go to the PD? I'm on my way there. Oh shit, I, I was thought the cars, um, I'll meet at the PD, though. I'll meet at the PD. Yeah, there's, there's zombies on the street, so I kind of just ran in here. You have a burns kit by any chance? A burn kit? Yeah. I don't think so. Alright, I'll just buy one. Um, so... I'll offer you these. Alright, look at your uh, offers. Alcohol, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Is the game trying to get you into becoming a drunk too? I probably. Like, I've got like two things of whiskey, two things of wine. Yeah. Oh wow, there's uh what does that even mean? There's a uh... Stat for ammo capacity? Is that like how much it stacks in your gun or what? I don't know, it's interesting. Alright, what do I have on my gloves anyway? Uh, I have plus 5% elite item, fine chance. Alright, remember to turn in all these quests as well, uh, because I almost forgot about that myself right there. Yeah, I just turned in the three. I think I have to turn these into, uh, Peyton and Frederick. Basically just the three people in this room. Is it really? Oh my god, perfect. Yep. Peyton, Caitlin, and Frederick. I need to buy some burn medicines. Ooh, I have money. What do you want? It's nice to have money, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, good. I've got rid of my damn burning status, which is nice. From doing these quests though, if you just like use handguns, you can basically make your money back from the quests. Do you have the uh, greening GLR rifle? Uh, hang on, let me 
check. Wait, the rifle? Yeah, the greening GLR. I don't believe I have a rifle. Uh, I gave you one. Uh, it's got some really nice headshot damage, the rifle. But, I mean, I, I don't know whether you should use it, to be honest, though, because... This thing is, is that 5.56 ammo is really lucrative to sell if you look at it at the trader. Like if you look at the prices that people are selling it for. I actually have some. You're gonna die up there. Yeah, you can sell it for like $150 per piece. Nice. For, I mean for 20 rounds. Or 30 rounds or whatever it is that it stacks to. Whereas 9mm is like 120 to 150 for 50 rounds. Now I might buy some 9mm. <coughs> or wait, do I want to? Uh, I think your gun uses uh, 0.32, mine's right? The, yeah, mine's the ACP. I might just buy some of those. Yeah, you've got to get to level 5 before you can get the 9mm pistol. Did you level up from that though? Oh no, you're still level three. Yeah. But at least your your uh, at least your XP is saved though. I thought I was level four. Unless you didn't actually hit your add skill thing yet. I did. Wait, did it not just update then? Because it says level three for me. Maybe it's just because we need to like switch into the like the next area or go through a door. Yeah, mine says four. I'm yes. gonna store some stuff because I'm carrying way too much. Okay. Oh yeah, here's another one. We just literally gotta go outside this police department and clear the street of infected and that's another quest completed. Just right outside? Yeah, just the Dalmo Street. It doesn't give us too much, but I mean, every little bit helps. Plus, yeah, it it'll it's give us some it's... XP from killing the zombies. It's 92 XP and $61, man. Plus the XP from killing the zombies. Yeah. It's not safe. Right, I'm gonna buy some ammo first. <laughs> now that I have room for it. But I'll come back inside. It's kind of a bummer that the ammo doesn't really stack past 50. <laughs> I think it's for that old school, you know, Resident Evil feeling. Yeah, but even in like old school Resident Evil, the ammo would stack up to like 225, I think. That was or, pretty ridiculous uh, though. Was it, was it 225 or was it 180? Oh, what, 20 gauge cells do not sell for much here, actually. I think I could turn a profit buying them here and selling them at the other outposts, because, like, each outpost has its own market. Yeah. Alright, I am, uh, I am ready anyway. Alright. I keep my inventory so low, I've only got, like, 8 items on me, including medical stuff. I have, like, a full thing. I have to keep healing items on me because I know I'm gonna need them. Alright, so we just... We just kill everything, I guess. Once again, simple mission. I like it. Yeah. We make Hulk proud. Alright, I'm gonna fire off a gunshot that can not like a lot of everything.
I like stealthy sometimes, like you can hear him, it's like, what the hell are you? On keyboard, it is a uh, left controller if that helps you with the controller. Ah. Right, I'm pretty sure it's left controller, I'm pretty sure. It is. Wow, oh, that's. It's done. Is it really <laughs> done. <laughs> You're green, right? Yes. Alright, I guess instead of just heading back, we should just go do the other quest then, so to Cooper Town. Okay. I thought this was my car then, goddammit. <laughs> Alright, let's check the missions here. Uh, da -da -da -da, Raymond, da -da -da, okay. Penny's Cafe and Sushi Star are the two. Yeah. Alright, we'll go to. Penis Cafe and then Sushi Star, I guess, because this is closer. There are bootable things. Ooh, Wait, did back there? Baseball bats are really nice, the range is really good on them. I think I'm gonna take the baseball bat. I need to get rid of something. so many drinks, I'm just gonna start getting rid of a bunch of them. That works. Oh, how wonderful tin dog food. Mm-mm-mm. Gotta love that tin dog food in the apocalypse. Oh, yeah. You ever, uh, you ever eat dog food? Hell yeah, all the time. I actually tried it once as a child, actually, like an idiot. I've tried it too. And it did not taste good. I oh, mean, I guess it, it... It wasn't as bad as you would think. Okay, so did you go into the sushi star? Yeah. Okay. I think this isn't actually the parcel we've got to find. I think this is another quest, this parcel here. I mean, I could eat tin dog food in Apocalypse. Or I, I guess, was that it? Or was that, was that for some, some of the quests? No, oh, that was it. Yeah, I guess that was it. I guess we can just, because there's a gold key required. You're good health now, right? So we can do another boss. Yeah, I'm at full health, I think. Where'd you go? Uh, I went into the room on the left. I'm just looking for the gold key. This little, Found it. little tiny door? Uh, the double one, the double one. Ah, okay. And the key is in here as well. Yeah, and the key should be at that lootable spot. I went into the tiny door and was immediately surrounded by three zombies. Oh god, that one's a sprinter. Alright, which room are you in now? Uh. 
All right, now I'm gonna go to the gold key room. Uh, I already went in. Oh, did you? Oh shit! I'm coming! I'm coming! Ah! Oh, that one's sprinting. Bosses on you. I know, I see you. I have such terrible aim. You do have to wait for it to, like, uh, get a little bit more accurate as well. He is down. An elite t-shirt. Nifty. Let's see what that looks like. It's purple. Ooh, it's black. Of course I'm gonna wear that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what? Did she run past you one for me? And now, I have radiation poisoning, rest in peace, my sweet soul. <laughs> Do you? I think I have a thing for that. I would very much need them, because it's making me lose health over time, which is pretty much a rip for me right now. Oh, that is beautiful, what luck. I am so thankful right now. Okay. I don't even know where I found those. Ah. Yeah, these dumb ones and these arrows that can pop out. Ah, oh, appreciate it, appreciate it. No problem. Ah, oh, that'll save me. Alright, Penny's Cafe. There should be another boss in here as well. Like, on all these small areas... Well, there's a boss in, like, almost every building, but in these smaller areas, they're really easy to find, like, pretty much at the entrance. Yeah. And... It's, like, right here. Easy again. Hey. Hello, friend. I found you. And the key is on this, uh, unfortunate woman right here. What are we gonna find in the room? Ah. Oh, she pukes too. Yeah, you gotta keep your distance to this one uh, real well. Out of here. Oh, being attacked by things on the ground. Another one on the right.
All right, what loot are we gonna get? Some rare charms, but it is mostly about the XP that you get, which is really nice. A rare two by four. I need to. How, okay, how good is the baseball bat? Because I think I might switch to that. I really like. That's what I'm using right now. Septic spray, I could definitely use that. And antibiotics. Ah. Oh my gosh, I just got hit, damn it. As soon as you went through that door, a fat zombie came through. <laughs> so I am currently just gonna take her out. She has no arms. I knocked her arms off. She's still gonna try and bite you. Alright, I got her. Ah, I think my mouse glitched. Stop attacking. Did you leave the building? Uh, no, I went into the other room to loot. Ah. This is the last room in the building, I think. I found some tin fish in here. I got water. I can't carry it. You... <laughs> what is taking up all of your inventory? Uh, I have a lot of drinks. Are you actually at full hydration? No, surprisingly. Although I am just, I, I'm just kind of drinking things when I find them, though. I have okay. I have wine and whiskey. If I drink those, I'm gonna be intoxicated. I'm gonna drink them. <laughs> You're gonna get drunk. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink all of them. All right, so we can uh, we can return to Dalbo now and basically just on everything and we've done everything now essentially so I am drunk now welcome to my world <laughs> what does it even do does it do anything yeah if you press uh, tab you can look at like any oh, it lowers, yeah, my, it lowers my accuracy I mean, that's to be expected, right? Who needs accuracy when you're using a baseball bat? <laughs> you would be surprised. Okay, so we're going back to the police station? Yeah, I'm gonna turn in the rest of those quests. Okay. And then get a little bit more XP and monies. So, uh, they're in these other rooms, aren't they? Uh, I think they were in one of the rooms. All right, that's everything turned in. There's nothing left. You think you can 
survive out there? Okay. <laughs> Did you grab any more quests, or is that all? Is that all? Um, that's not all of them. This building will be absolutely huge. The issue I have is trying to remember where more quests are at when you start, like, going through the labyrinth. Okay. What I would usually do now is I would head to the level 10 area and start accepting quests in that outpost. Okay. If you want to give it a try. Uh, sure, why not? I'm only level so, 4. What is your, uh, what is your health right now? My health is at 65. Alright, alright. 65 out of 100. So, let's see, uh... I do have quite a few antiseptic sprays, though, so... Yeah, well, you, you will want to get yourself to full health, though, before we head there, because you do not want to get nipped by the crows that are going to be on the street. Fucking crows, dude! You're gonna, you're gonna love, love these things. All right, full health, and I'm drunk. Let's do this. Hell yeah! Under level, drunk, and what could go wrong? Possibly everything. Definitely everything. I mean, you just got drunk, right? And the first thing you're doing is going to your car to drive. Yeah, that's safe, right? Like, what did you just do? Down a whole bottle of wine and some whiskey or something you said? I drank two wines and two whiskeys. <laughs> Four bottles in and he's like, let's do this, guys. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go to Haverbrook. Where is that? Bottom right, bottom right. Sure, I'm gonna die here. Birds. Here's the second safe zone, anyway. Oh god. Got it. A bunch of worms spawn from him. Worms will spawn out of enemies quite commonly now. And yeah, yeah, this is a... Uh... Cop in there, my bad. Cave Brook Memorial Hospital. A very... Make safe, terrible camp zone, don't you think, in a zombie apocalypse, uh, hospital? Uh -huh. Of course. Alright, so we just accept all these guys. Okay. What have you got? Oh, this guy, wow, this guy gives a lot of XP. 846 XP for doing this guy's thing. How long can this go on? Nice. That nurse does nothing, she's just depressing. So, the, the, depress the nurses are the depressing police officers of the hospital, essentially, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, as you can see, the rewards in here are much, much better in general. I haven't even found one for 100, under $100 RXP. Wait, was there something lootable over there? No, there wasn't. Or was there? What, in the hallway? No. Or... Yeah, over where you're at. I think there was another door to go through, wasn't there? 
Yeah, there's... So there's two more doors. Oh god, we have a lot of quests from this place. And man, you can just go all around these buildings forever, it's ridiculous. You can survive out there? Okay, did you go back out the big doors? Yeah, yeah, just follow the blue symbol. Um, wait, no, there's literally... Oh, did it disappear? Um, there's... There's just just go back into the main hall anyway, because there's literally nobody in this hallway anyway. Okay. I that's where there was nobody in that one. Oh yeah, he's a nurse. He was just depressing. Uh, nurses. Aren't they supposed to be like nice right now? Alright, so something else that's nice, by the way, if you go to your account stash in here, you'll notice that, like, you've got 20 slots. These are separate from your other outposts. Good. Time to store some stuff in here now. Uh, don't, don't know if I want that 2x4. Store these shotgun shells and other ammos for guns that I'm not even using. I was just selling stuff there. <laughs> Alright, I am uh, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I'm down to six inventory slots now. Nice. I am down to five. Down. Five now actually five. Awesome. Alright, so let's see the mission log. Uh what is the most common area? It's Lara Wilbury. So the first one, we've got to clear the street of all the infected. That'll be the first task that'll be good to do. So, uh, uh yeah, I guess let's just go to Lurbury and completely just eradicate all the zombies on the street and then decide what to do. Sounds fun. I got plenty of ammo. So it's the lure of us top right, level 15 area. Oh joy. I don't think I can actually go. Oh, uh, do you not have enough fuel? Uh, I do not have enough fuel. Um, shit. Okay, 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 okay. We'll go back, I'll come, I'll come back to art. Uh, oh fuck. Now I'm wasting all my fuel and food, I went to the wrong area. Um... One second, I'll travel back to Havenbrook. Alright, 
Let's, uh... Let's just loot this building and find some fuel and stuff. Yeah. I think you're being attacked by a crow. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to dodge it. Yeah, I saw that that was not, not nice to look at. So, uh, we'll just go through this and see what we can find. I still am. Superior fuel injector, what is that? Oh, is that a car part? That's what your car, yeah. Same thing as fuel when you get those, by the way. You've got to put them in your car and then equip them separately. I found some trousers. I found dog food. Jack all. Just gonna ignore those for a second. I'm going through here. Oh god, there's a lot of zombies in here. That baseball that has no rarity on it. I found beer. The game really wants you to be a drunk. It does. Zombies are drinks. I'm finding nice amounts of ammo, which is good. What does this one got? Ooh, more rifle rounds that I don't need. Spray. 
water, but I do need that. And then we got these two last doors to loot here. Oh, I got the Holy Grail of orange juice. That stuff is worth so much. Oh, orange juice. Oh, yeah, it like refills like everything. I kicked that and it hit the zombie's body. Oh my god, not one let me hit it. There we go. Oh god, oh god, there's like a lot. Hey, some tin sausages. I found bandages in there. Iodine tablets. In case you get radiation poisoning again. <laughs> Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Band-aids from that. Yes. Just loading up on more and more meds. And right, now we've explored all of this, we can just head all the way back down. And then on the left, I wonder what's in here. Is it another giant hallway? Yes, it is. With some stars, this is a big building. Brass key. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, I got the Holy Grail of Orange Juice again! And there's a doll here too. I got potato chips. Painkillers. Shit, wait, wait, what? Did we come to the... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I remember the layout. So this is the first door we entered. So this will be the second one. Alright, forget that for a second, because that's a giant hallway. Let's just try the other double door and see what that is first. Yeah. Do you see the blue icon? Yeah. Yeah, this this will be... It. Well, we can explore that giant hallway after this. It makes sense to explore here for us. The one on the left can uh, sprint. Another one 
just walked into the room. There's a fat zombie in the corner. Alright, there's two doors in this room. Did you check the desk? Yeah, yeah, I've looted that. God, this I keep hitting the zombies' bodies. It's no, what? Oh, okay, I gotta lower it away from the zombies because I keep hitting the zombies' bodies and not hit. There we go. This is a nice and quiet room with no zombies in it. How nice. Oh wait, what the fuck? That one didn't boy come until you came in. I came in and it kind of like slid across the floor. <laughs> Just finding drinks. Man, you could make an entire star based on that, though. I probably could. But it's like water star. As soon as you went through that door, a zombie came through. It was actually me. I got infected after walking through and came back. Yeah. I guess we can go from left to right. Alright, I am going to actually avoid most of the zombies in this room because there's literally like 12 of them and I've been starting to run a little low on ammo now. I really need fuel. Why did fuel become so rare? Yeah, it's the white one, I believe. Okay. And yeah, there is a lot of zombies. I just like avoided all of these and just went for these doors in the corner. I'm gonna check this. Ooh, a damaged shirt. No, I don't want it. Wait, was there anything else in this room? Uh, there's two doors to go through as well. That will lead to more loot. Ah, okay, I see you. A wrench? I don't need another wrench.
Right, there's uh did you go through the other room in here? Cause there's um there's one Harris off. Uh, no I did not. Oh shit! There's something behind you and it wasn't even here, Bouncer just came in the room right after you came in. Why? Why are we not finding enough fuel though? Um, okay, that brown door leads to a big hallway, so it's best to avoid that for now, because these single doors... Oh wait, there's our brass key door. Did you go through it? Yeah, there'll be another boss in here, I think. Probably. Not always, though. Same. It creeps me out when you can hear all the crawlers, but you can't see them. Oh, I know where that one is. Ooh. Hey, I'm guessing that's a gun? I'm just gonna go through this white door and see what's in, uh... In here. I'm gonna check that gun out in a second. Space to do so. Oh my gosh, really? Get get down. Die. Okay, I found a thing, so let's see what that is. I found some tin vegetables on a cop, so the obviously logical thing to do is to eat them. Oh, I found a superior CZ-83. So naturally I will use that instead. Are there any other rooms in here? Nope. Unless... No, there's a cupboard. <laughs> it looks like doors from distances. Sometimes those cupboards, they trick me. Yeah. And then we've got uh, another small room here before we go back to that giant corridor. Uh. I think I have to without the gun, too many enemies. Oh, behind you, there's a worm. Got it. Yeah, so this was the brown one here. Oh god, there's a lot of enemies, so I guess come down here and we'll do it in reverse. 
So we can start with this door. Hang on. Searching this dude. Fish. Can't carry it. Oh well. That was a weird thing to walk into. That zombie's just kind of freaking out. Oh no, everything here is freaking me out. There's a worm that's following me. Got it. Ah, there we go. God, that was horrible. Like, I've walked into this room and everything just dropped from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been an interesting experience. It was weird. It's raining zombies. I found more fuel. I still haven't found- I just keep finding ammo, but I mean, I guess I can trade ammo for fuel, because ammo's like worse than wolf in the game at the moment, ammo is definitely at the highest price. I'm gonna use some of these bandages. Uh, this is zombie in here. Yeah, I just looted that. I don't know if one you spawned in was a zombies in there. There's two of them. Damn, if you would have come in a second earlier. There's, there's three of them. There's a, a big barfy one, a crawler, and then there's another one. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the thing, because, yeah, I can't. No one, so we'll go through this one first. Because I'm, I'm just very good at keeping layouts of interiors. Another fuel injector. Wait, you're not even moving in this room on my screen. I think you are uh, disconnected from the lobby, right? Or was that me? Uh, I think it was you. Yeah, I think my internet dropped for just like half a second. Are we back in the same game though, I wonder? Because like, it did say I rejoined. Yeah, it said you joined. I shall wait in this hallway, I guess. I went down to the end. I, I'm looting the the other side of it. Uh, or some other door. One sec, I'll come back outside. Uh... Okay, I see you. Yeah, I run down all the way over here. Yeah, yeah. Sausage. Oh, it's got puked on. Fuck. Ouch. Oh, you got puked on? Yeah, rip me. I'm gonna go through here for the way out. Because otherwise, I'm gonna, they're gonna, I'm gonna block it off for you. 
Wait, which way did you go? All the way down to the end? The, the way out section. We've looted all the other side. I see. Now all that is left is, uh, upstairs. I just had to, like, crazy dodge all those zombies, because one of them tried to throw up on me. And it reminds me of the old Resident Evil's, right, just having to go around like a madman. At one of those, she's, uh, Yuka, screw her head. She can lose that. Ooh, tires. I gotta make room. Make sure she doesn't kill me. I got it, I got it. We need a small key for this room. Okay, I found superior tires. Alright, so we need a small key for that, so I'm going to assume it's probably going to be in this room. Probably. This isn't a room, this is a whole hallway. Okay, we'll just go through it, obviously. Door by door, let's see if we can find our small key. It might be in here. Nope, not in this room. Okay. What is... Oh, I have bleeding resistance, okay. Must have been from a band-aid I used. But I keep getting long life milk all of a sudden. What does this one have? Fuel? More fuel? That I don't have room for. Wait, you don't have room for it? Um, don't leave that room a second. Hang on. I have uh, just a lot of garbage so I'm getting rid of. Because. If so, because I literally have not found any fuel, would you mind just sending me one ounce of it? Well, I don't know why I said an ounce of fuel, but <laughs> can you send me some fuel, just one fuel, and that way we can travel to the the uh, the other area. Yeah. But to be honest, I kind of need to go. Do you need to go actually outpost? Because I'm kind of full. Yeah, I'm super full. Now we can just like buy some fuel. To be honest. Alright, I appreciate that. Alright, so we'll just, uh, we'll just head out now. Okay, was there a quest for this building? Or no, this? no, we, we just came to this area to get quests, and then we didn't have any fuel to leave, remember? Oh, yeah, well, I had fuel, you didn't. Well, no, wait, you, know, you, I, you I didn't, didn't have fuel. <laughs> Yeah. It, it, became the, it became the opposite. I didn't have fuel and you did, and then you came back and didn't have fuel. <laughs> yeah, and <I> basically. <laughs> basically. Uh, wait, which way did you go? Um, just follow the doors for the way out. I, I'm heading back to the uh, the memorial hospital. Okay. It's just on the when when you go outside the building, it's like the big yellow safe something.
Alright, I need to make space. I went the wrong way. I love when you talk to the traders, like, you think you can actually survive out there? Like, oh, thanks, dude. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It's not like I was doing it before. He's the best moral counselor ever. Moral counselor? I mean, just counselor. Like, what does moral counselor even mean? No idea. Did we complete any quests? Not yet, not yet, no. Okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sell some stuff real quick. I'm gonna put some stuff in my box. How much does the uh, CZ-83 usually go for? It depends on which kind you have, but honestly it's like... In most cases it's only going to be like 20 to 40 dollars, but if you got a really good one it can go for hundreds of thousands. Uh, mine's just the regular... It's more like Borderlands, you know, with the weapons having random stats on them, though. Like, a blue rarity gun can be better than, like, the most highest tier rarity gun, depending on the RNG stat roll you got. I'll just sell it for 20. And you can always just scrap them if you really don't feel like it'll sell for Jack, but the, the best stats are stuff like range, headshot damage, attack speed. If it has like additional stats for it. <laughs> hey, point thirty two ACP is really cheap here. It? It's like fifty dollars for like fifty rounds. Okay, time to buy more ammo, I guess. <coughs> I'll buy this one. And that one.
Welcome to how much is fuel? Let's see. Oh my god, it's really expensive here. That's just retarded. That's because it's really common, I guess. Wow. It's like 110 per one. Like what? And he makes more expensive. Like screw that. I bought a pair of jeans that I can't even wear. <laughs> you made that mistake. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at the level thing. Oh man, oh man, that's good. Oh well. I've done that before. Eventually, man, eventually. So I got new car parts. I'm going to use those. Alright, I am, uh, I am ready whenever you are. I'm about as ready as I can be. Alright, alright, let's, uh... Just check in that. Huh. Alright, I am, uh, I am too ready now, let's go. So it was, it was Lou's Brill, right? Yeah, Lou, Lou, Brill, Brill, or whatever. But the first thing we gotta do is go just... Cleared the infected out of the entire streets. I gotta put my new car parts in. Yeah, no, but I'll protect you while you uh while you do that. Alright, we will uh, be going to yeah, Lulberry. Oh, Lulberry. I don't know how the hell you pronounce this place's name, but we're just gonna destroy everything now on the streets. That works. I found candy. I want anywhere like it's not candy. I hear birds. Damn, but I can't see them. Where are they? What the hell is this bird invisible? Potato chips. Where is it? Oh no, it's like on the fucking. Ah. It's like on the ground. Look at that. What the fuck? Worm. It's a worm bird. Behind you, Splinter. I almost just got thrown up on. Ooh, 
this truck is lootable. Orange juice. The Holy Grail, man. I found baked beans in an oil drum. Is it that I keep finding fuel everywhere? I don't know because I'm not getting any. It's making me depressed now. I'm sure you'll find some eventually. That is all of them. Okay, so what do we gotta do in 8 to do 1, or oh, whatever they say, 8 to do. So, is it 79? No, 8 to do, no, there's a uh, carrot me. It's like, okay, one second. Oh, apparently he's just in the lobby, I think, and he's just literally right through the front door. No, no, I was looking at the wrong thing. Defend me a second if possible. Okay. Up one stairs, door across, kill. Oh my god, she pukes. There's just random ones. Uh, so up the door. And then I think we just. Is it one of these? Not dead either. Oh, more worms. I found some fuel. Yay! Yay! More rifle rounds. So, up one stairs, door across. So it's in this white door, I believe. Our quest item. We gotta kill one of these zombies, and she'll drop something. There we go. ID card. Got it. And then we just leave. We've got our item. The annoying thing is, I think, even though we've cleared the streets out, I think enemies will respawn, I think. Probably. Probably. Alright, so 79 lure really rolled. What do we have to do here? Up one stairs and first door on the right. There's another one. I in tablet, so we go up here. Hang on, searching the dead person. Bandages.
So it should be this door, I believe, here? Yeah? Two seconds. More fuel. Wait, what door? Ah. Oh, all that zombies in T-Pulls. Or should I say that corpse? I found a wallet. Yeah, that's our, uh, that's our item. Alright, so we can uh, we can leave this place too. Okay. Actually, let's uh, chill here for one second. What what does she want us to do? Like, what is her name? Like, what what did she want us to do again? Uh, oh, that's a complete yeah. She wants to go to a completely different area. Screw her. I don't got time for that. Uh, Horizon Publishing Inc. I wonder what we're gonna do here. Alright, this one's gonna be a little bit more complicated, but not too hard. We gotta go. First door left, and then the second door to the left. I'm just gonna avoid these. That one tried to spit on you. Yeah, I saw that. I avoided it by like a millimeter. Now where do we need to go? Up one stairs, first door to the left. Up one stairs, first door to the left. You use the R8 key and then... Where's the stairs at? Well, there's a loot spot here at least. I guess are the stairs back at the main entrance? Probably. Nope. Alright. I'm just coming back into that hallway real quick because there's too many zombies in there. Let me see. Uh... Why are these stairs that apparently? Or is this guy mess something up? Maybe that put her hair, I don't know. I guess just start searching rooms. One of them probably leads to another hallway. I wonder if this guide's even accurate though, or if it's just Yep, let's just start searching anyway for this star well. Gosh, there's a lot of zombies. Yeah, it starts to get kind of intense at this level. Iodine tablets. Oh, I found it, I think. 
Alright, so do you know your way back to the main hall? I am in a hallway. I think it's the main one. Uh, well, find your way back to the exit. Okay, to the exit. Yeah, just keep going to the exit, you'll find me eventually. I screw all these zombies, um, just come through here. And then it's the stairway on the right. Alright, so we gotta do this, and then it'll be the door on the left in here, apparently. First door on the left, it should be, it said. Oh yeah, here she is. You go into the key room? Yeah, yeah, go into the key room, and then go to the first door on the left. In these rooms, by the way, that people are in, zombies cannot come through the door. They're like safe areas. Good. I have to so, get rid of a few things. I keep finding iodine tablets everywhere. Alright, we've actually cleared this entire area, now all we need to do is return to Haver Rock and um, kill everything on the streets there, and we've got all the quests done, and we can just come go back to the hospital and turn everything in, and earn a hell of a load. Okay. Oh crap, we have to be we have to be quick now, actually, the, the all the quests will reset uh, in about 30 minutes, and you, you, if you don't. To the exit, wherever that is. Uh, okay. Yeah, just keep following the exit sign. Because once the quest reset, you lose them all. Uh. Ow, you freaking spat on me. So I'm drunk right now. That's great. That's great. I have some coffee granules that actually kills drunkness. Cause yeah. you don't even drink them. You're finally just eat them, and it kills drunkness. So back to Haven, bro. Let me put fuel in here first. Oh yeah, I need to do that too. Time to indiscriminately kill everything on sight. I don't even see any zombies. Uh, I don't see any. Uh, crow? Oh, that's one. Oh, uh, here's another one. Right in front of the hospital. I hear her crawl, but it's like she's stuck in this rubble. I don't hear it. Oh no, it's a worm. Fuck. Couldn't see it, it was a worm. Is that it? Uh, nope. There's no more. Do you want to take the... Oh, oh, that's one actually in front of the hospital. Is that a wall? Yep, that's it. Alright, we can turn everything in. Awesome. This will be a lot of XP and money. Awesome. I need to level up. 
little bit of advice, by the way, the fast learner perk is very helpful. It even affects the amount of XP you get from turning quests as well. Like, anything that gives XP, it affects. And even, like, looting corpses, by the way, and things gives you XP. Okay. Yeah, I leveled up. Did we not do hers? Wait, did we not? Or was that in a different area? That might have just been in a different area, is yeah, why. Area. Uh, was there anyone else, or was that all of them? Derek Murphy, we've got a. I think it's in this door. Where is Derek Murphy at? There's this door then. Oh, this is the one that no one's at. Where the hell is Derek Murphy? Is he in the room next to this one? Yeah, it must be this one. Yeah, it must be. You'll die in here. Alright, that made us a lot richer. And did you level up? I leveled up. Time to go sell those meds again that I just have abundance amounts of. Yeah. It's almost like 4.30. Hey. Yeah, considering we've done all these quests and stuff, do you want to call it a night here? Because I'm, uh, I'm pretty tired myself as well, to be honest. Oh, just an interesting thing, by the way, because I'm sure you still have a rusty, rusty key, right? You can scrap it for money. Can you really? <laughs> yeah, you can actually scrap the keys. Awesome. I'm gonna probably do that in a second. It's like six dollars, but you know, six dollars is more than you would have had without scrapping them. Yeah, we can just find that again, right? Um, the keys? Yeah, because the, remember, the areas are going to reset in like 30 minutes anyway, the quests and all the areas. So that key is going to become useless. Because uh. uh, basically, the, the game has pro this game has procedurally generated areas, so even this hospital will change in its layout and the NPCs each day, every interior does, and so do all the quests. And when that happens, obviously, all your old keys and shit become essentially useless. Ah. Awesome. 
Alright, I'm going to end the thing now.